Hi guys, and welcome to my channel, CB Shaves. Yes, a new channel. Another new one. But, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, joining me for a shave. I'm going to put some water in the sink. I should have done that before. Right, let's get on with the shave. The razor today I'm going to be using is the Gillette Slim Adjustable. And inside there, just the same time, the blade we're going to be using is the Bluebird High Stainless. Don't know if you can see that. Camera's not great at close-ups. I am saving up to uh, invest in a new camera. That's the first time I've used this blade. I've never used one before. So we'll see how that goes. And I got that on setting... The camera's rubbish. Setting number seven. To start with and then we'll bring it down through the passes so we're going to be using a three pass system first pass with the growth second pass across the growth and then the third pass against the growth and then the pickups later on right the brush i'm going to be using is the simpson synthetic Tra trafalgar t3 it's a great brush love this brush it's super soft and it's got quite a bit of backbone so I'm going to put that in the water now. I don't need to soak it with being synthetic, but I just like to soak my brushes. Uh, the soap I'm going to be using is Barrister of Man Seville. Fantastic scent on this. You can smell lemon, the citrus. Bit of oak moss in there as well. Yeah, beautiful scent. Beautiful scent. And the, the, it's herby as well with the moss. So yeah, love that soap. And I've got a bit there in my bowl and the captain's choice bowl. There we go. Alright. I shall take that's gonna be hot. I shall take the glasses off and we'll wet the face with some hot water. Ouch. That is hot. It's a bit too hot. Three days growth to get rid of, and I'll give the brush three shakes so it's wet but not dripping, and we'll start lathering up. So, how are you? Hope you're okay. Hope you're all safe and you've been free of this virus, it's taking over the world taking over the economy, taking everybody's jobs, taking over everybody's lives. And it's a, it's an absolute tragedy. And it's a shame that this has come about. I've been lucky. The wife's been lucky. All my colleagues and work have been lucky. I'm a postman for Royal Mail. I've been for about 15 years. It's been really busy. With all the shops shut and everybody's shopping online. It's like Christmas every day with the packets. But it, I'm just so grateful that I've I've got a job. Some people, unfortunately, either being furloughed or have even lost the jobs with the businesses closing because of this virus. It's a shame. Right, enough doom and gloom to get on with the shave. There we go. Next to no time. I'm going to start hovering up. I'll add a bit of water as we go along on the face. I love the way this brush really holds the, the soap. So creamy this soap. Well, I hope you've all been having some good shaves. Getting new products through the post. For the den. I've had a few new things the last few days. And uh, this blade being one of them. I've had a few soaps. 
I had quite a few soaps, new soaps the other week of it being my birthday. Of the wife. That will do for the first pass. Tidy up a bit. into the razor, warm the blade up. Here we go. Gillette Slim Twist Adjustable Setting 7 Bluebird Platinum High Stainless First Use. Shedded a hair. It's really nice. It's a great soap for protection. Well, that blade feels really smooth. I like the high stainless. I like the feather. I get on really well with the feather. Table has been really hot the last few days. I was in work on Friday in the van on delivery. Was it Friday? Yes, it was Friday. And the temperature gauge in the van reached 38 degrees. And I've seen some people put the temperatures on Facebook, somewhere like 32, 34, 36. So yeah, it's been really hot, really struggling. But it's just a case of keep yourself really hydrated, drink plenty of plenty of water. What I did, I bought a litre and a half bottle of water and put it in the freezer overnight. And I took it out of the freezer when I went to work. And it was a, a pure block of ice in the in the bottle. Plastic bottle. And uh, through the day it just slowly melted. I kept the, the bottle in the back of the van in the shade even though it was warm and I got near the end of my delivery and near the end of the bottle of water and there was only like a little tiny ice cube left in it so it lasted from when I left the house, uh, you're looking at approximately five, six hours. Yeah, six hours. So yeah, but it was really nice. And people so kind on delivery that all coming out the doors and asking if I wanted a cold, cold drink. They've got very kind of them, but I had plenty. So I also had a litre bottle of um, juice as well. 
I wanted to make sure that I was properly hydrated. And it worked. I got in the car as well. And uh, after I'd finished my delivery, it's like an oven. It was roasting. First passed on. And uh, yeah, and I, I, I put the air conditioner on maximum on the way home. Chill. Takes half an hour. To, well, half an hour to the shop. I went to, I went shopping on the way home. And just gonna add more water to this. And I got out of the car and it was like getting off the plane in Egypt. Because the wife and I used to go to Egypt at least once a year. And the woof, the heat just hit you. So it was horrible getting out of the car. Oh yeah, you could, the good thing about this soap, it doesn't di dissipate in the sense of smell. You can really s smell the citrus. And that comes across more than the oak moss. Yeah. Oh, that's an ice cream. Yeah, so first video. Decided to Follow the community, the shaving community, and share my shaves because I found it very helpful on my journey, if you like, into wet shaving. I've only been doing it for about 12 months and I've never looked back. It's, it's a fantastic way of shaving and getting a really close shave other than the cartridge razors, which I couldn't get a close shave with, and it got really expensive. Second pass across the grove. Yeah. I've never looked back. This way of shaving. I oh, forgot to mention as well. There is overhang a little bit to be aware of. Yeah, I didn't drop the grade on this. I decided to keep it on seven for the second pass. I can really, really feel the blade now. Just hope it wasn't a mistake keeping it on that setting. touch so far so good but I'll, I'll set it lower on the uh, I'm not going against the grain okay I'll set it lower on the uh, against the grain because my growth grows that way so I have to go across the grove that's an angle Yeah, 
like I say, new channel. I don't know what it's going to be like. I just thought I'd give it a go. I should have done it from the beginning. And if you like, documented. From the beginning of changing over to wet shaving. But I didn't know at the time. How hooked and addictive it would become. And it is addictive. As you go, because there's that many different soaps and blades and razors, brushes, everything. There is so much choice. And that's what makes this way of shaving so enjoyable. It's like every shave can be different. A different, well, I can get away with that now. But I won't. I'm gonna keep going. So I'm gonna open the doors. Joe's doors. And I'm gonna put it on setting three for against the growth from the pickups. Give it that extra quarter of a twist. Yeah, so see how the videos go. See how the channel goes. Because it's not a hobby. Like most sweat shavers, they start out just as a better way of having a decent shave. And the next minute, it's a hobby and they start YouTube channels. I start sharing the shaves, the products, advice, tips, recommendations. It, it's brilliant. It's a fantastic community to be a part of. And it's like one big family. Yeah, it's fantastic. Absolutely love it. Yeah, so bear with me with it being my first video. I don't really like being on camera, to be honest with you. I don't even like the photo being taken. I thought, what the hell? Just do it. Third pass across the grove, setting three. That's the sound you want. Don't know if you can hear that. this razor. It's one of the best razors, vintage razors I've got in my collection. I've got a few. It's really slick this soap. I really like Bannister and Man. PAA, Phoenix Artisan Improvements, is another favourite of mine. Sterling's another favourite. Taylor of Bond Street. I've never had a bad soap with Phoenix, Taylor's, Bannister or anything. I've, not one of the soaps has ever disappointed me. Me, to me that's what makes the shave as well the, the good 
quality of soaps you can get makes the shade so much more enjoyable because to be honest with you in my opinion in my opinion only not that it matters anything can ruin a shave the brush the soap the blade the razor anything can ruin a shave I was watching one of the, the guys I subscribe to, John Shaves 101, and he's shown a perfect example of what could ruin a shave. He was trying a brand new soap. And his wife bought him. in a sale and when he went to lather it up there was nothing there it just disappeared into the brush there was no lather or nothing he still had a good shave he had a back up the tail of a whole bond street peppermint one of my favourite scents my favourite creams and he had a good shave but it just goes to show the difference in quality. I'm going to shut up a minute while. What do you mean, thank God? I'm going to shut up a minute in a while and do the top lip, so bear with me. I get pins and needles in my fingers, arthritis. I'll get the corners. This is where I overshave. Just looking for that BBS on me. Get the bristles that grow so close to the lip line as well. Nearly caught my lip then trying to get them. Your skin on your lips are a lot softer. I've got soft lips, so my wife tells me. Right, I'm going to use a bit of slickness, a little bit of soap, just to double check that because I don't want to do the top with them. Pickles. I'd rather get it done and out of the way. Unfortunately, this things like this with me is probably what will extend the video. And I'm trying to keep it low the time so you don't get too bored. Always the corners, isn't it? Do you have trouble with the corners in your mouth? Or is it just me? Think, told you. It's when I overshave. Just a couple of little weepers. Try the pandies. Let's go 
go for the pickups. BBS under the chin. Plenty of soap. It's, I keep forgetting about this so a little goes a long way. I always forget. Another trouble spot is the jawline. Get up. You hear that? This is a nice shoe. I've never had a bad shape with the um, Gillette Slim adjustable. Any of my Gillette razors. Yeah, Gillette Slim Twist there, that's a cracking little razor. Put it on eBay and lucky enough, I actually paid £15 for it. And it had never been out of the box. I've kept the box, the wrapper. But I don't store it in there. Store it in the den. 26 minutes. Sorry guys, we're nearly done. In the first video, I want to be perfect. I'm getting that BBS. Happy with the blade. Quite impressed with the blade to be honest with you. I'll be ordering some more of these. I just got a pack of five. Just to try them. See what they were like. And yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Nice blade. Nice and smooth, but very sharp. We can get blades that are really too sharp and they're plucky to start with and they're hard to use. But you can dull them a little bit. The old cork method or on the edge of a glass. Just using the slickness now. Sorry, it's a bit noisy, isn't it? Just to get a little bit. So, what's your plans for the rest of the day? I know what I'm doing. I've started <coughs> prepping the uh, bathroom for redecoration. This hasn't been done for a while, it needs to be. Cold water in. Oh, that's nice. Refreshing. That was a great shave, enjoyed that. No real issues. Those couple of little dots there, but they seem to stop now. All right, what should we go with? Allen block or witch chainsaw? I'll tell you what, we'll go for witch chainsaw. Thayer's unscented with aloe. Good stuff. Good skin toner. I've got several. This one I haven't got says citrus oil, I don't know which I'm gonna get. I've got the cucumbers and the unscented.
Good stuff. Right. I'm going to put the bar on, then I'll, I'm going to whisk through what we've used so far, and then um, I'll finish off with the aftershave. Because this bar takes just a, a little bit of time to, oh, to soak in and go off. A little bit in my finger, but that's all you need. It goes a long way. Sorry, it's Menon. After by Menon. Good stuff. And it has got a, a slot, scratch, a mantle. Get it all over. That's nice. All good stuff today. I wanted to make it a bit special with it being my first video. And I think I've succeeded. While that's soaking in, I'll have a run down. We've used the Gillette Slim Adjustable, setting seven for the first two passes and then setting three for the final pass against the Grove and the uh, pickups and we've used the Bluebird Platinum High Stainless Blade in that first use. Like I said, it's a great blade for me. Really enjoyed it. We used the Barrister Amand Seville. Fantastic soap, really slick. It's like cologne scented and the feel the skin has after using it is amazing. We use the Captain's Choice Bowl, Sandstorm. See how much is left. I always use too much. We've used the Simpson, just wipe that. The Simpson Trafalgar T3 synthetic cracking brush. <coughs> Everything's cracking. We've used the Fayers after the cold water rinse, unscented. <coughs> and we've just put on the After by Menon. Love this stuff. I love the Arco stuff as well. And to finish it off, we have first use. I've only got just got this yesterday. Oh, it's a bit steamed up. It's a bit warm in here. Floyd's black. Love the Floyd aftershaves. Genuine's my favourite, but. I think it, this might be taking it over. Let's get a splash on there. Oh, weepers are coming through. Only a slight thing. I'm going to have some more of that. That is really nice. And there we go, that's the shave. Well, thanks for tuning in and putting up with me and watching it all the way through. If you liked it, give the thumbs up. If you want to see more, and let's face it, it can only get better, hit the subscribe button. And thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you on the next shave, whenever that may be. So, bye for now.